Hey guys, I got a new video for you today and we're going to take a look at this really interesting kind of known name brand flashlight I picked up on Amazon. Uh, I was looking for some other stuff. Um, I decided to kind of plug in EDC flashlights and this is um, one of the first ones that came out. Uh, again, I say no name brand because it really doesn't have any name brands on the packaging. Um, on the label here, it does say Boruit but I'm not sure if that's the, the name brand. But if you guys are interested, I'll leave a link to the Amazon page where I ended up picking this guy up if you wanna go ahead and pick one up for yourself. But the reason that I wanted to showcase it to you guys is because it has a lot of different features on such a small form factor. And it has a lot of things that I look for in an EDC flashlight, uh, with the exception of one thing, and I'll go ahead and touch on it. So this is the... Um, uh, packaging here so it says EDC flashlight model v3 it's got a picture of the flashlight behind this thing here 900 lumens type C charging and built-in battery and then uh, just a little bit of, uh, talks a little bit about the different features and stuff like that on the back which we'll go ahead and take a look at so you slide the case off here and then you get a user manual it's always good to kind of read through your user manuals and stuff like that um, it comes in a bunch of different languages. Here's some of the uh, parameters if you want to go ahead and pause the video and read through that. But we'll go ahead and touch up on that as we go through the um, overview here. So it does come with a USB-C to USB-A charging cord, which is nice. It does include it. So there it is. And then you also get a uh, little bag here with a split ring. And that is pretty much the extent of the accessories that come with this guy. Uh, and then here is the flashlight itself. So one of the first things that kind of drew me to it was the actual design of it. I love this little kind of squared body with the, uh, the dual LEDs in the front there. Um, it just it just really, really cool looking and, and cool vibes. It's a uh, kind of transparent body so you can see right through it and you can see the circuit board underneath there. You do have some LEDs on the side here as well. And then you can see the battery right back there also. You do have your USB-C um, charging port there. That's if you had longer nails, I would be able to get to, but um, it's covered with this little uh, rubber door here. So it does, um, you know, if any water or something like that were to get on it, you're not going to have to worry about it. You do have a magnet in the back here as well, which is pretty interesting. So I just have my knife here just so you guys can see. And it does attach to metal right there. So that is really cool. Um, I like the fact that they included that because sometimes you do want to go hands-free. And if you can attach this to a metal surface while you're working on something or something like that, it's um, that's always a plus, especially in this full kind of plastic body, the fact that they were able to add that. And especially because it's right next to this little lanyard hole right here. Now, um, you can attach a lanyard there or you can go ahead and attach your split ring if you wanted to put this onto your keys or hang this from something else, a carabiner or something like that, you can go ahead and do that. Now again, this is marketed as an EDC flashlight and the one thing that it did not come with is a pocket clip. And that's one of the things that I really wish it did because had they included a pocket clip, it would make more sense to call it an EDC flashlight. Yes, you can attach it to your keys and still have it on a regular daily basis and it's part of your EDC, but um, I, you know, normally don't carry that large of a flashlight on my keys. I don't actually have any keys, but, um, so I would want to have this clipped onto my pocket if I, if I would be able to, as opposed to just kind of dropping it in there. So for this particular light, what I would probably do is I would probably put a lanyard on it, which makes it easier to hold if I had a lanyard, but also if I had it in my pocket, I could have that lanyard kind of sticking out and be able to pull it out when I go ahead and use it. So you do have your dual LEDs right in the front there. They kind of look like little eyes in my opinion. So, um, and then you have two buttons right here. So the reason that you have two buttons is because you actually have um, different modes on this light. One button actually activates the LEDs right here in the front. The other button actually activates the LEDs on the side right here. So a lot of different features on this little light. One of the first things that I really like about it is that if you press and hold either one of the buttons, you'll get usage of the light without actually completely turning the light on. So in other words, you have a momentary on function, which you don't get in a lot of these smaller kind of keychain EDC flashlights. So looking at the button here on the left, which has a little uh, power symbol on it, if you press and hold it, the light will come on. You're actually using both LEDs, and that is um, you're getting the full um, power of, of the light here, which is 900 lumens. So that is really cool. Um, you have to continuously press on it, but once you let go, it actually shuts off, 
and you're good to go. So you want a, you know, just to be able to use it and, and just got, you know, a lot of light really quick. You can press and hold, you get your light. Once you're done, just let go and you're good to go. So I like that feature very, very much. So if you wanted to go ahead and access the light and have it be constant on, you would double click that button. So if you double click the button, the light will come on. And again, you have different modes. Um, you have your high, then you have medium, low, and then what they call economic, which is very, very faint light there. So um, just so you know, um, if you press it again, it will cycle right back up to the, the your high, and then if you press and hold, it will turn off. Now again, double clicking it will come back on, but it does not have a memory. It'll actually come on in the um, your high all the time. So again, that's just the you know depending on if you like that or not. That is just the reason, the, or it's just that's just the way that they designed this particular flashlight to do. So just so you know, um, as far as light outputs. Your high is gonna be 650 lumens, medium is 450, low is 180, and then economic is five lumens. That's a pretty interesting range that they chose to. I don't know if I would go 650 and 450 between medium and high. I would probably dump, you know, bump that medium down to maybe like 300, and then the low maybe to 100, and then economic to five. I think that would be a little bit better spread of the light itself, but again, that's what you're left with. So that is the left power button there. Now, if you press and hold the right one here, which is, uh, it's got a little lightning bolt symbol on it, you'll actually have the light come on on the side here. So if you press and hold, you'll have a white light that comes on on the side there. And then if you let go of it, then it will turn off. So again, um, it just, this, this light on the side is more of what I, what I would call an aerial light. So something more uh, kind of right in, in front of you here. So if I needed a little bit of light just right in front of me here, I would use that. I don't think that I would probably use that, that one in, um, in relation to the front one. If I needed to, I would just use the front one to do whatever it is. So the white light on the side here, for me, for my purposes, I don't think it's uh, it's that useful, but again, you do get it there. So if you wanted to use the rest of the lights and the rest of the modes here, basically you double click and then you'll get that white light again. And then you do have a status light here, which is a little green LED, which goes off after a couple of seconds. It's just letting you know that the light is on, I guess. So then if you um, press, it'll cycle through the different uh, light outputs here. So you get that white light. If you press it, now you get a UV light, which is pretty interesting. Um, not a lot of everyday usage for a UV light, but at least it is included in there. And if you press it again, you get a red light. So obviously if you want to preserve night vision and stuff like that, the red light does come in handy. And if you press it again, you get a flashing red light. So this is good to um, you know, either get somebody's attention or um, if you need it, you know, you need to set this down to be able to locate something, you know, so you know, okay, where that blinking red light is where I left this, then you can have it have, kind of set this next to it. And then the last mode is a flashing red and blue light. Um, not exactly sure what usage the average person would have with um, flashing. And you can see it's variable flashing um, just because a lot of, um, cities and states and stuff like that have uh, laws against using flashing red and blue lights because generally those are more reserved for law enforcement, uh, first responders, things like that. So again, if I'm out in the woods, this would be great to attract somebody's attention. You know, So if I'm trying to attract attention, then that's when I would use maybe these flashing red and blue lights. But in everyday EDC tasks, I don't see myself using that. So if I press it again, it just goes back to the white light and then press and hold and it will turn off. Now, I'm not exactly sure if you guys are able to see, but the body of the flashlight also glows in the dark after you're using it. So once you turn off the lights, there's a slight glow to the body of it, which is pretty interesting. I didn't really even know that it had that until I was um, kind of testing it out and using it. And when I turned it off, I said, hey, you know, that looks kind of greenish to me. And, and in fact, that's what it was. It was just, um, you know, the body glowing 
um, in the dark. So then you can't really see it too much, but uh, um, it does do that. So um, all in all, I think it's a pretty nice little flashlight, especially for all the features that you have built into it. Um, so for the price, I don't, I don't think it was too expensive. I can't remember exactly how much it was because it was mainly more of an impulse buy. But as I mentioned, I'll leave a link to the Amazon page where I picked it up in case you guys want to check one out for yourself. Now, as far as um, build and fit and all that, it feels very, um, very nice. Again, this is a plastic casing, but it doesn't feel cheap at all. Uh, the same thing with the um, LEDs here and the housing and all that stuff. Everything feels nice and quality, even down to the little magnet back here. So if you wanted to pick up a little backup light, maybe something to throw in an EDC bag or something like that, a bailout bag or, or whatnot, this one would probably be a good option for that. Uh, especially if you add the uh, the split ring here and then maybe attach it to a, a carabiner or a key ring or something inside of a backpack and then this light can kind of live in there then that would be great and that's pretty much the the usage that i would say would be for this little light here so again that is just a, a quick look at this edc flashlight from amazon that i ended up picking up as an impulse buy let me know if you guys have any questions thanks